I'm Jennifer Menken. I'm the community forester and I work for the Missouri Department of Conservation, but I'm also the tree board chairman here for the city of Cape. And I'm here on both capacities for doing the same thing, talking about trees. So the tree board is a really unique set of people. And when it comes to managing trees on a cityscape, you have to look at people that have a unique interest in various capacities. A forester is one of those roles, but you also want people that understand planning and development, city ordinances, city connections, having a business acumen. So it really does take a diverse amount of people and background when you're talking about urban tree care, because there is a lot of ownership and there are a lot of decisions that have to go into taking care of tree care and placement. So we have representatives from the Parks and Recreation Department. We have a staff member from Public Works. We've even had city engineers that come in when they're talking about street development and sidewalk projects as well. We also have community citizens that also have just an active care of interest and in wanting to participate in it. People that work with the city gardens, people that want to work on just some of the beautification and landscape. So you have this kind of diverse background from all of those aspects. We also have someone from Ameren as another example because utility management and tree management also go hand in hand when you're talking about a city environment. And so it's nice to have that conglomeration of all those different kinds of people with all that knowledge so we all have a say about how we can go into taking care of our community and our urban forests. So the tree board, some of our responsibility is we are providing guidance. We're an advisory board, so we don't make the executive decisions, but we come together to try to make these informed decisions whenever we're trying to implement and create this development with uh, city government and city citizens and trying to also engage local residents into creating some knowledge and awareness about tree care and tree management and everything that goes into that. We do tree evaluations, we participate in tree plantings across the community, and we also just try to address citizen concerns when it comes to encroachment of invasive species or tree risk, forest health, a lot of tree questions that come into play. And it's something that if we can provide that knowledge base like I had said about and some of that wisdom to help further guide those decisions whenever we're working on infrastructure and when we're talking about some of those developmental things for trees in general. We are a designated Tree City USA with the Arbor Day Foundation. We have been one for over 20 years. I don't know if it's 25 years, but that is a good long-standing history. There are four core criteria that come into play whenever you have the designation of a Tree City USA, and it basically is an allocated uh, a board or department that you look at. You look at budgetary items that go into tree care and management within the city. You're also looking at ordinances that help protect and preserve those trees and trying to make sure we keep their integrity and having an Arbor Day proclamation and doing some sort of tree planting event. And it doesn't have to be done within that month, but considering all the community events and the great support that we get, it's a really good way to celebrate it. We've planted trees at Kiwanis Park. We've planted trees at Arena Park. We've planted trees at Washington Park, Osage Center. So every year we have a planting, and I would say the Arbor Day planting is the most unified we have one as a board. And we also work with the university as well in those types of plantings, uh, having representation on our tree board from a professor that works there. I would say every year we try to pick a meaningful place and project just to try to coordinate some of these events. Sometimes it's after the establishment or construction of a certain building where we've had to reinvigorate some of the landscape of trees that possibly have had to have been taken out. And so it fluctuates every year depending on what that priority might be. I would say most of it is having an intelligent and meaningful discussion with city leaders and then if it's in a way that we can either meet them on site or if it's something that they're bringing towards for our meetings and our discussions and trying to move some of those plans forward for development and implementation citywide is mostly the role that we play. So if people have an active interest in wanting to participate in that, if they have a passion for the element, having a passion for the topic, having the, the true intrinsic enjoyment about it, and if they can play a role in some of those different types of areas that we talked about, whether it comes from experience and working on a, a governmental standpoint, or whether it's talking from a business standpoint, or someone that's in horticulture or forestry, or any kind of tree planting, and just having a long-term history with the community that you just really understand community dynamics and who the working players are and who the stakeholders are. All of those things are very good and it's all within the betterment of our trees in Cape Girardeau. So if there's an actor of interest in that and that they can contribute to that, that's what we want.